happy Tuesday. Mocha Don is right is back at you. I'm Mocha Don. And today we're doing a quick video to tell you about the bridge collapse and show you the very best analysis on what happened with the Dahlia vessel, which struck the key bridge outside of Baltimore. Uh, we did find uh, what's going on with shipping channel. So someone who's an expert and seems to know what happened. Also some detailed video as that crash took place, basically shows you there was a power outage on the ship, presumably the engines. And then uh, we also know that the ship dropped its port anchor and dragged that anchor. The ship was, I think it was 956 feet long. So almost a thousand foot long ship, a uh, container ship that was headed out of the port of Baltimore towards the Panama Canal. So let's take a look at that um, that video of the crash and a detailed explanation on how that crash took place. Some people have said it's a terrorist attack. I don't see any evidence of that whatsoever. Looks like just an engine failure. Here we go. Hey, what's going on with shipping? Sal Mercaglano here this morning. So we've had an incident in the port of Baltimore involving the motor vessel Dolly outbound from Baltimore. I am just beginning to process the information and take a look at it, but I want to clarify something that I've been seeing that needs to be done. This is the video coming from the port of Baltimore. I'm going to go ahead and live stream it uh, or re replay it. This is Dolly coming out. Notice the ship just went dark. I'm going to come back here for a second. Go back here a second. Take you back about 10 seconds here. So she would have came off the berth at Dundalk here. And if you play back this video, you'll see that the ship is, is outbound, turning around the channel, comes off to the uh, comes off of Dundalk right here, goes out the channel, spins around and is coming out. Now, let's be clear. This is obviously the e e exit out. This is where she wants to come out. Go ahead and play it again. Here she is coming out. You'll see lights along her side. You'll see lights right here. That red light in the back is not her, but she goes dark all of a sudden. So now the ship is dark. You are not having any power on this vessel. Uh, the ship has basically dropped the plant. So when I initially heard about this happening, there was a lot of questions about, was this mechanical or was this human? This is obviously a mechan well, mechanical issue in that they lost power. We're not sure why she lost power. So here she is. She is basically coasting at this point without any control. Now, if she had lost power, does that mean she lost her rudder? Uh, did she lose uh, propulsion? And the vessel was in the channel on the outbound leg. She was coming out and you see her still kind of moving here very slowly down on the channel. Uh, traffic up on the bridge is moving along and the ship is just progressing slowly down the channel. So ship's still moving at this time, and then we see the power come back on. So you see the lights come back on. So she is able to get power back on at this moment. Oops, sorry, it's buffering here. So you got power now coming back on. She, once again, should have propulsion. She should be making way. Now, when you lose power on a ship, it is the worst feeling in the world. Everything goes quiet, goes dark. Now you start seeing black smoke coming out of the port funnel. So she is belching black smoke at this time. You can see it coming out right here. So this indicates, obviously, an engine problem. Now, what are they doing at this point? They may be backing down at this moment, trying to stop uh, their forward progress. Now, the problem with backing down on a ship is that it is single prop. And what's going to happen is when you try to back down, the ship is going to start careening. It's going to start kind of pitching around. And what happens here, based on the track line that I saw in marine traffic, is the ship starts to go across the channel. She was basically in the middle of the channel, coming out right down in the middle, and now she's careening toward the right side. Notice more black smoke coming out. I saw a helicopter image this morning that showed that the port side anchor had been dropped. So what you would want to do is try to arrest the forward mo movement of the vessel. The problem with this whole scenario is this. If you start backing down on the ship, it's going to start twisting. Uh, if you just kept the ship going, stopped the propeller, and used the rudder, you would have some control. But now the vessel is starting to veer out of the channel. 
And this is what we see. The ship starts crossing from the north side of the channel to the south side of the channel and then eventually out of the channel entirely. And at the speed she's going, uh, she is not able to stop her forward progress. So, see the black smoke still coming out of the, the ship at this time. Uh, the ship now is coming out of the channel entirely. She would not have tugs on her. She would have had tugs to take her off the berth at Dundalk, but not once she was underway and had propulsion. Uh, this ship, Singapore flag, Singapore registered company. Uh, Dolly is one of these ships that basically is leased by the larger operating companies. Uh, so we're not exactly sure whose route she was on what company she was servicing. She was out of Baltimore heading to Colombo. So she was heading down to the Panama Canal and she was going to be heading across the Pacific. At this point, she is heading right for the pylons. And understand, once you take out a pylon on a bridge, that's it. These bridges are designed to rest on top of that pylon. She's going to sideswipe it. This is going to be the worst kind of bridge disaster in the United States since Tampa back in the 1980s. And even if you drop the anchors, which we know she drops the port anchor, uh, according, looking at the image from helicopters, the port anchor was not just dropped, but it was, it was uh, angling to aft, meaning that it dragged. But at any sort of speed, it's not going to stop the vessel. Uh, she would have dropped, I'm not sure if she dropped the uh, uh, starboard anchor. That's her hitting right there. You can see the big splash as she hits the piling right there. There are barriers around the pilings, but not enough. And that will cause the, the collapse and just the horror of this event taking place here. And, and that is the tragedy right there. So, so that is my quick assessment based on the video right there. Obviously, a loss of power uh, resulted in the ship losing control and hitting the uh, bridge. Uh, the, not a lot you can do. The ship would have been under the command of the ship's master. There would have been a Chesapeake Bay pilot on board to advise the master. Remember, the issue we had with Everforward when it came out of Baltimore, and it was further down the track than this, we had the pilot being distracted. I don't think that's a case here at all. Uh, this obviously appears to be a mechanical issue. The fact that the ship lost power at least once, if not twice, it was kind of hard to see, but it may have lost power twice there, would have been uh, the cause for the ship to careen into the bridge. I will have a further update here later on as more comes to bear. Okay, well, so there you have it, <clears throat> and special thanks to what's going on with Shipping Channel uh, for their excellent analysis. Uh, that's what they do over there, and I saw this, and I wanted to get it to you because people have been talking about um, terrorism and things like that, and I just don't see any evidence of that. We, we may very well have a terror attack this year. It's just going to be one of those years with the open border and, and other things. But I think that terror attack's more likely to look like um, the terror attack that they had in Moscow, where four people just opened up with automatic weapons. And, you know, I think four people can kill between 100 and 200 people before they can be subdued. So hopefully uh, we won't have that. But, but that's a very simple kind of terrorist attack. Hacking ships. Uh, Tim Pool earlier was saying maybe, the, maybe things were hacked. I don't see any evidence of that. Uh, what's going on with shipping channel seems to have given us a very good analysis. I would speculate the black smoke pouring out of the ship's um, uh, exhaust or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that black smoke was probably because they were in full reverse. I know trains and ships being as heavy as they are and, and, and they really can't be stopped quickly at all. Usually well over a mile to, to stop a train or a ship, even if it's not going fast. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We really need you to subscribe. 80% of the people that watch the channel do not subscribe, and that really hurts us. So help me out. Do me a favor. 
subscribe to the channel, and you have a fantastic Tuesday. Ready, stand by.